you are now watching Juan Gotti Talking Sports. I was stuck in a wheelchair, staring down at my mangled leg, wondering if I'd ever be able to go on a walk with my wife again, or play games with my kids in the yard. Putting my helmet back on was the farthest thing from my mind. I just kept asking myself, all this for a stupid game? But then, someone did something that changed my recovery completely. He put a football back in my hands. I don't know what it was, but all of a sudden, I felt stronger, more driven, and what once seemed impossible began to come into focus. And the truth is, over the course of my life, that's what this game has done for me. I was a skinny, no-name recruit who wasn't even supposed to play in college, let alone go to New York as a Heisman finalist, or be the first one to have his name called on draft night. And then, most lost everything. But football wouldn't let me give up. Because no, this isn't just a game. It's not just what happens between those white lines on a Sunday afternoon. It's about the challenges and the commitment they require. It's about how hard and how far you can push yourself. It's about the bond between those 53 guys in the locker room and everybody else in the organization. It's about fully committing yourself to something bigger. And most of all, it's about you. So to everyone out there, whether you're a part of Niner Nation, the Chiefs Kingdom, or the Burgundy and Gold, I thank you. To all the men I had the privilege of standing with and playing alongside, thank you. I want to say thank you for believing in me. And thank you for helping me believe in myself and in the impossible. 16 years of giving this game everything I've got, I can't wait to see what else is possible. But first, I'm going to take a little time to enjoy a few of those walks with my wife, and my kids have no idea what's coming for them in the backyard. YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here with yet another Washington football team video. And in today's video, I'm coming on here with some breaking news about a former player. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure you go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you get notified when I upload a video about the NFL, in this case, our Washington football team. Let's get straight into today's video. So we have some breaking news. Former quarterback Alex Smith has just announced his retirement from the National Football League. And it's very unfortunate, man. It sucks to see a guy have to go out on that note. I know he went out on a on a winning note as far as winning us the NFC East, but we know the real reason why he had to retire. Just at 36, 37 years old, he really wouldn't have retired. He would probably still be our starting quarterback if, in fact, he never got hurt. And it just sucks to see a guy have to leave because of an injury. Alex Smith has having had a phenomenal career. We know he got drafted back in 05, and he really, you know, switched his career around. You know, a lot of people can say that he got thrown in the dirt by San Francisco and Kansas City when they both moved on from, you know, the 49ers. They moved on from for Colin Kaepernick. Then they moved on uh, at Kansas City for Patrick Mahomes. But he done a lot of good by mentoring those guys. Let's just be real. If it wasn't for Alex Smith, Patrick Mahomes, would he still be the same? Who knows? Colin Kaepernick. Would he have been the same? Alex Smith is a great guy, and I'm not coming on here to be a Fairweather fan and just, you know, try to say all the good things that Alex Smith has done, but this is just the truth, man. Alex Smith is a great person. He's done a lot for Washington in his short time, and I'm pretty sure if he didn't um, sustain that unfortunate injury, like I said, he would probably still be our quarterback, and we would probably not be in the situation that we were currently in, look, still looking for our future quarterback. Who knows with what would have been going on if Alex Alex Smith was able to stay healthy. It just sucks to see, man. And I think, honestly, he really retired. One, because of obviously his leg isn't probably healthy enough to play 16 games. And two, a team probably just didn't want to sign him. You know what I'm saying? After Washington let him go, no other teams probably were interested. I mean, you had the Bears showing interest, but were they really interested? If they were, they would have signed him, but they chose to go with Andy Dalton. No one really knows, like, the legitimate reason. We can all make the assumption that it's just solely on his leg, but I feel like it's a part of his leg and also teams not being that interested in him. 
And like I said, Alex Smith made a huge impact on us for the short period of time that he was here. In 2018, before the injury, he had us 6-3. And, three, and uh, honestly, that was the happiest we've been in a while as Washington fans. It looked like we were going to be going to the playoffs, and we were looking good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, a lot of people can say it was boring to watch because we didn't have the exciting offense because Alex Smith isn't that kind of quarterback. But all he did was win. Back in San Francisco, the guy was a winner. You know, it started off his career a little shaky, but then he eventually evolved. In Kansas City, all he did was win. You know what I'm saying? So Alex Smith had a good career, and it's just unfortunate that it had to be cut short due to injury. I mean, you have guys like um, Drew Brees, like Tom Brady playing into their 40s. Peyton Manning, I believe, played into his 40s. You have guys like that that are playing into their 40s, and I'm pretty sure Alex Smith was going to be one of those guys doing that, but unfortunately, injuries... Um, mess that up for him so like I said man I just wanted to come in here and break the news it's shocking because I really thought he was going to get another chance um, with another team and I honestly thought when I first saw the breaking sign was that either one he signed with a new team or something else revolving with him coming back to Washington maybe a coach or something like that or maybe even us signing him back to a one year deal who knows what we would have done but it's unfortunate that it's not that and it's um what we thought was going to happen last year him retiring and huh man I really would have liked to see Alex Smith you know see what he could have done this year coming off the division win that he helped us get we owe this division win to Alex Smith the way he was able to gut it out last year knowing that he was hurt 49ers game having a good game versus the Giants even though he you know fell short of coming back the guy was phenomenal I mean let Aaron Donald give him a back ride when he got sacked I mean like you can see the good the grit the, the determination that he had this year coming back from that injury man and no one else would have came back from that injury I'm pretty sure 99% of this population would have just chose to probably amputate their leg or something like that but this guy chose to fight the odds and he gave everyone else hope out there that if they sustain a terrible injury like that God forbid that happens to anyone else but if it happens Alex Smith is an inspiration to all to keep fighting and to overcome the odds because anyone can do it the guy is set for life, beautiful family, have a whole bunch of money, had an awesome um, NFL career. Alex Smith, I just want you to know, man, that you made an impact on us Washington fans on and the Kansas City fans and the 49ers fans. But speaking for us Washington fans over here, in the short time you were here, you made a big impact on us and you all gave us hope when you were out there on the field. And you all gave the whole sports world and just the entire world that saw your comeback story inspiration to overcome the odds with anything. So I just wanted to come on here quickly and talk about that. Not a long video. I wish Alex Smith the best of luck, whatever he decides to do next in his life. Appreciate your time in Washington. I'm sorry that it had to end this way, but best of luck to you, Alex Smith, in your next chapter of your life. So, yeah, man, it's me, your boy Juan Gaddy. Like, comment, subscribe. Hello to the Washington football team. Let me know what you guys think about this video down below. Shout out to Alex Smith, man. Can't wait to see what you do in your next chapter of your life. Like, comment, subscribe. Hello to the Washington football team. It's me, your boy Juan Gaddy. I'm out. Peace. Uh, cross me one time, that's gonna get you pop. Get you pop. Mm -hmm.